What's up, everybody? MC Murr here, and welcome back to the show. And it's about time for another fantabulous game review, and not just any game. We're looking at another fantastic brand new brew for the NES. You know that I love these. Raleigh the Raccoon. <laughs> look at his face. Look at him. And we got a, there's a look at the rabbit. And there's a snake. Awesome. This comes to us by way of Optomon from Optovania. And uh, dude had his head on straight when he put this together. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. Flat out, this is really neat stuff. You know I love these things. We really want to take an in-depth look at what we've got going on here. This is a neat game for a number of reasons. Yes, it's a platformer, but let me tell you something right now. If you think this is a run-of-the-mill platformer, you best check that at the door because it's going down for real in Raleigh's world. This is going to get serious. And by that I mean serious feeling, serious nostalgia, even though it's something you've never played before. This game is built and designed the art style. It takes me right into 1987. It is like a mid to late 80s platformer. It looks it. It feels it. I wouldn't know that it wasn't made then. It's got all those qualities and more though. There's some depth to Raleigh. There's some depth there. There's some things this raccoon can do. He's capable and we're going to look at all that today. So here we go. Raleigh the raccoon. Yes, it's a platformer, but Raleigh doesn't just jump up and down. It's the plethora of abilities that sets this game apart. Raleigh can roll into a ball, fart bubble platforms, throw raccoon turds, float through the air, hang from duck feet, stomp the ground, go for balloon rides, and that's just some of the abilities Raleigh has at his disposal to overcome obstacles and subdue as many enemies. Raleigh makes his way through articulately designed stages, which when done with combinations of his different abilities, makes for multiple opportunities to speedrun each one. That alone provides extra replay value. And each stage ends with a powerful mini-boss to rough up Raleigh and put your resource management and combat skill to the test. And of course, big boss fights to test you that much more. The variety of items really rounds out the fun in these fights, allowing you to customize your strategies. The environments change not only visually, but physically, adding new dimensions to the difficulty and placing even more importance on Raleigh's bag of tricks and management of said resources. Stages contain halfway points to respawn from, and the game features a simplistic and convenient password save, which basically acts as a level select. I like it because it allows you to work your way through the game in multiple sittings, and it does so with only a four number passcode, and again, for you speedrunning perfectionists out there, you have a way to come back again and again, and focus on your optimization of specific levels. The difficulty overall does a decent job of scaling, and while you feel it getting tougher as you go, none of the stages are complete pushovers. There's always a rewarding sense of accomplishment. I gotta say, this game was well made, and I am definitely digging it. That's it, man. Raleigh the Raccoon. That's what's up. And I got, you know I'm a sucker for the see-through, different color you know, NES cartridge cases, uh, those are so exciting to me for whatever reason. Fun to collect, they look so great on the shelf. By now, I hope I've shown you more than enough reasons to want to get behind this thing and get a copy of this for your very own. And how can you do that? The Kickstarter is still going. They also will be available on the website and I'll have links to all of that in the description of this video for you to go check out immediately after this video so that you can secure yourself a copy of this. This is fun! Again, this this takes me back without even really being able to because obviously it's new, but it feels like a game we had back then, you know. If you told somebody that it existed back then, they would probably believe you. It really has the look and the feel. It's hard to say how you would even capture that. But this does it. It's like not too much 
not too I, I can't explain it I can't explain what it is it, it's just it's not too shiny it's not too crazy it's not too polished and yet it is it just manages to look like something right out of 1987 which is exactly what we want it to do so talk about hitting the nail right on the head Raleigh the raccoon dude and you know you want to play this you know you want to see more of the gameplay of this you know that I want to show you more of the gameplay of this so get ready because on TNL this coming Tuesday we will live stream gameplay from this very cartridge I will try to get further in the game we'll look at it in detail we'll see more than what you've seen here and you know most importantly have some feedback from the community get a chance to have a live chat about what you think about this but in the meantime what do you think about this you know that i love getting a conversation going with you right here on the mc mer show so you know that i hope you're gonna drop something in the comment section for me so that we can get that conversation going right here on the MC Mer Show. And I hope that you liked this video. Hope that you like the look of this game. Hope you're going to drop a like on this video. And if you have not already done so, I hope that you're going to subscribe to the MC Mer Show. Be a part of Murder Nation. We're rising up all the fantastic things that we do right here on the show. You need to be a part of it. Make sure that you smack that notification bell so you are always the first to know when new content goes live. Because you know that I love making it for you. All kind of fantastic stuff coming your way. Make sure you're ready for that live stream come Tuesday. Get out there and get yourself a copy of this fantastic game, and I can't wait to show you more of it. See you next time.